Anyway. Okay. I think... I think we're doing the end of the game. Now we're arriving on planet... Question marks! This planet is... <laughs> An entire planet turned into a mutant. The signal from the tunnel is coming from inside the planet. The calls are coming from inside the world. the turret and jump around with our jumpy tank, we'll figure something out. The Parasitic Death Star, Plan A to G. What a name. Oh. actually mean to. Oh, you jerks. Okay, now it's doing that thing where, like, I have to... Uh, oh, ah, nope, the ice came back already. Nice. Oh, and they went away. I think I have to... Oh, nope, there they are! Got it! Okay. The last time I did this, I got the bad end. But I think I have everything I need for the good end now. No, it can't be. Okay. Assuming that there's just more to get to the good ending. Did I actually... Do I not have everything I need? Okay, cool. Super cool. Uh, well, we're not going that way. <laughs> she has 
things, but none of the buttons are doing anything currently, so. All the enemies are just like contained in these little boxes. I couldn't get hurt if I wanted to, except for like fall damage. Okay, is this where? Yeah. Woo! I, I have no idea what that does. Can I turn it off? Oh, nope. Okay, it's just on a timer. Got it. What it's doing. Where did she even get this weapon? Has she had this the whole time? If she's had this the whole time, like, she has just, like, a time slow function. What the hell? Well, that didn't... Okay. I need to come down here while the time slow is still going. Okay. So, cat symbolism, but, like, her ribbons kind of give, like, rabbit ear vibes. Oh, hi. Okay, once again, let's use the slow time function. Nope, may not. It's kind of foggy, but am I... Fighting the mutants? She's not even sure what she's doing. Yeah, what is this power? That, that's not actually what I meant, game, but... I want to know why she just randomly has cat powers. And by cat powers, I mean, of course, powers that are shaped like a cat. Outside. Gotta be careful. Platforming outside of the tank in uh, in this game. In, in, in Blaster Master Zero, man. Uh, I gotta stop saying man like that. Um, in Blaster Master Zero, the Holy moly, okay, we're doing this now. The humans, the humans characters. I have to say characters now? <laughs> Entirely because of this section? Oh, it's like poison water, that's bad. Stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind this. Uh, they take a lot of damage, is what I'm trying to get at. They take a lot of fall damage. Oh, I can't call... Whoops, wrong button. I can't call the G Sophia from here. <sighs> well, come on. How is that hitbox that far down? Uh, yeah, see, like, like like that. You take a lot of fall damage. That was it. I That jump, and I died from fall damage. Okay. 
You have to be extremely careful. No, I want you to... No, I want you to... There. Yeah, do... Oh, come on! No! Oh my god, why? Anyway, uh, hey Nox, uh, did you still want to do some hunting? Oh man, I'm going. Right, this plops me up here, but this is meaningless without the tank. I'm curious if, uh, oh, this was probably a bad idea. Uh, I got lucky. Curious if this means we're gonna get to uh, like. Oh, friggin' yeah, okay, go away. Oh, okay, I see what we're doing. Eh, I, I can do this whenever. It's a single player game. You know? I don't get to. I just killed myself. And I'm... <laughs> the fall damage on the human characters. The fall damage on the human characters drives me absolutely bonkers. This section is kind of... Okay. Why? Oh, for crying out loud. Hey. Why? I just keep using time slow. I need a. I don't know why I'm like trying so hard to not use it. I just did it again. Like, literally that jump that I don't think I can just drop down from is killing me. Look at this crap. Come on! I can see why the... Son of a... I can see why the Blaster Master Zero games kind of just faded away from from like uh, what am I trying to say? When Blaster Master Zero One came, well, it wasn't called Blaster Master Zero One; it was called Blaster Master Zero. When that game came out from Inti Creates, it was like, oh shit. They're bringing back Blaster Master, and it's, you know, Inzy Creates, who knows how to do a good pixel art 2D action game, etc. And it was, you know, people played it, and people liked it, and it was cool. And then I felt like, you know, then there was a Blaster Master Zero Two, but it was like, wait, there's a Blaster Master Zero Two? <laughs> like, it kind of came out, it felt like it kind of came out of nowhere. And, uh, then there was a three, and I feel like nobody, I feel like nobody really noticed that. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, where 
Where am I go? Oh, come on. I have to be going this way, right? Please, save point. Okay. At the very least. Also, this, I might not be playing this for very long just because, uh, what? And I hate everything. The jumping is so weirdly slippery. Ha! Oh! This is like... I'm at the end of the game, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, don't even try it, Jason. Cool, just do that then. This is some, like, true ending shenanigans I'm trying to deal with. Crap! I gotta, yeah, I gotta use time slow before. I jump down. Oh, come on, the positioning. No! I don't even know what I was going for there. This is because this is supposed to be ice. Oh, what? The time's slow! <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah, okay. Point is, I don't think there should be too much more to the game. Although it is the final, like, true ending stretch, so. It might be really hard. It didn't hit me. Okay, so it's a good thing I went the way I went in the first place. Why are her random powers cat themed? I don't even care that the game gave her random powers, but, like, why are they cat-themed?
What the? That's not a terrible explanation, but it doesn't explain the cat paw melee energy attack. <laughs> did, I <laughs> did I want these up? I actually don't know. I don't know why I'm doing that. And I'm dead. Didn't matter. I... Ugh, God damn it. This section is kind of grating. It's so slow. The rest of the game's way more fast-paced than this. Which, like, I get may have been kind of like, you know, on purpose, the intention, because you're not playing as the main character. But who boy, that doesn't make it fun. Watching a little bit of uh, Blaster Master 3. Uh, Bla Blaster Master Zero 3 uh, definitely makes me think, like, yeah, I think Inti Creates kind of got away from the spirit of the games. I can kind of see why maybe people weren't... Okay, let's let the energy refill. And kind of see why maybe people weren't super enthused. That and, like... Let's be real. There was never a big Blaster Master fan base. You know? It's one of those uh, classic games that's like... It's a cult classic. You know? I think uh, the novelty just kind of wore off real quickly as well.
Well, don't I? I might have been a little early. Don't I like want this to be down? Shh. Oh, come on. Cool. Thank you. Yep, well, whatever. Let's just take hits, I guess. Um. Okay. Oh. Now she's got to do a human boss. I mean, get technically she was doing it. Boss fight in human form before, but the top down boss fight. Now, this thing again the dimensional glutton, Dig Rawler. The names in this game are really funny. Uh, whoa! I really sent that other one down, didn't I? Like, real hard. That was extremely incidental. Whoa! Uh. Got him. Okay. That does slow down the fight, like, overall considerably to use that, but it is safe. I'm not a speedrunner. We just want to beat the game. Gotcha. Oh, one more. You're going to do a beam first, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> oh, hey, the door, the thing's just stayed up. There. Uh, blinded by the cat. <laughs> I don't know what else I was supposed... I got... That's all I could think we could ever have done there. There we go. Yeah, that's a boss from earlier in the game. Honestly, I think I did a lot better as... Uh... uh ooh... But it doesn't belong to Jason, the main character. Uh, Eve. Her name's Eve. I keep wanting to call her Sophia, but that's the name of the tank. Of course, the blaster rifle's broken. We couldn't. We couldn't let the girl have the rifle. Oh, I... Why is she so slippery? What the hell? Okay. Oh, we're gonna... Yep, this guy. The Virgil to our main character's Dante. What? Ha! But she can... Oh! Oh! A different tank! With a girl! <laughs> I 
I feel like maybe we're supposed to know who that is, but I don't know who that is. Elfie. Yeah, that sounds familiar. What's a mutant cocoon? <laughs> a mutant even more powerful than a mutant overlord, because of course. Yeah, Roddy was the original main character, I believe. Maybe. I <laughs> I think he was. From the NES game. Maybe I'm... Or no! Was that supposed to be Jason's dad? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's lying so hard. It's cute. Oh. In a way, that's even sadder. Something like that. Couldn't you tell by the fact that by removing my pixels in a particular pattern on the lower half of my body, I was supposed to be, you know, like, partially see-through? Dun, dun, dun. Do I have something like that? Yes, we do. This is how you get the the this whole ending. Uh, is you have to have these marks from the other three pilots that you encounter earlier in the game. <laughs> I'm leaving. Well, yeah, look at the entire bottom of her sprite. It's like intentionally all fragmented because it's supposed to be like a ghost. Like the bottom half is all partially see-through. Roddy and Luce and Elfie. That's gotta be from an earlier game, but was that the original NES characters? I don't remember. I thought the original NES character was Jason. I said, she's a ghost. She can't operate a tank. But we can operate the tank. That's a good thing their tank had the exact same, like, support system to plug into EVE. This, yeah, it's the same as Sophia 3's. That's convenient. <laughs> I mean, they are tanks. It's, you know, people built them, but... Nora Ma O2. Andrea. <laughs> and we got a tank again. We don't have a lot of abilities, but we have a tank. Ooh, that's going to be used for platforming. I, okay, bye. We're going this way. Interesting. Okay. So it can only double jump. I 
really appreciate it if I could, if that checkpoint worked. Oops, goodness. I, oh, well, I jumped into that. That was my fault. Maybe not just for platforming. Not sure why I care. Whoops. About purifying these random little... Whoa, hold on. Huh. Could I have actually made that? It kind of didn't feel like I could I could make that at all. Oh, those go through walls, right? It's so weird that it can only double jump. I've spent the whole game with a tank that can hover. I see. I knew it'd get used for platforming. Still not sure why I'm purifying all the water, but I'll do it. Ow! Let me guess, because I need that, or the double jump won't reach. Oh, wow, that health drop. Oh, that health drop. That was... Oh, we have to refight this thing. Okay, but so how do we refight this thing? Uh, I... I mean, I guess we could just blast it, huh? Oh, curious. Ha! Get out of here. Really shows the difference between being in a tank and being on foot. Actually, I don't know if you were there for that fight, Noct, but <laughs> we had to fight that thing as just Eve. Oh, you were the no, you were there for that. Okay, yeah, some of it anyway. I, I don't know. I have a terrible memory. <laughs> Literally, that that's how bad my memory is. I can't even remember that far back. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, dropping blocks. Interesting. I'm here now. What will we get? Uh, okay. We don't touch the psychedelic. I don't know. I, I don't feel like it's actually that different enough. It just has a lot of really strong weapons. The one in Blasting Again, which has like three different modes, feels uh, more like it would constitute as a mobile armor. 90s walls. <laughs> yeah. These walls were brought to you by Smash Hits magazine. And uh what was that what was that magazine series you only ever found in doc like doctors offices for kids? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, wait, what? Uh <laughs> Hold on. I'm... Okay, I'll give you in Blaster Master Zero Three. Uh, yes. Uh, it is that that tank is stupid. <laughs> 
that's kind of what I was part of what I was getting at earlier. Um, knocked is how different this the Blastmaster Zero series got. Just kind of doesn't feel like Blaster Master to. Oh, what? I did not notice that. Okay. So when we're using the, the cat's eye, I guess. That's what I'm going to call it. I don't know what it's actually called. Nice. When we use the cat's eyes, the... We can't see the 90s anymore. <laughs> that must have been 10 hard years for cats. <laughs> I have to try to remember where the heck the door even is. I legitimately don't remember where the door is that we used to come in. Ah, there it is. Okay. And now our blue tank has um two has two more health than it had before. Again, still not sure why I'm doing that. That only fix that one. Fixes that one. Wonder if there's some way to like. Do anything. Oh, that. That's clearly a tank door. So how do we open it? See, like this, but it was covered up, right? Whee. Can I make this jump? Ah, uh, nope. Oh, yeah. Now we can go over here. <gasps> Fred! I think that was his name. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Yes! Get Fred! Get Frog! What do you call those? Uh, what do you call when you have... Service animal! It's a service animal frog! Also, thanks for telling me there's two more bosses, at least. Hmm. Oh yeah, but once we find Jason and the G Sophia, um, that that tank can hover. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, they get. Oh, we just. It was literally just locked behind story progression. Lame. Oh, here we go. Holy moly. Whoa! This thing. Octabibby. Octabibby? You okay? That did not go well. Stop shooting shrimp at me and whatever these flying things are. Wait, oh, come on! The little flying thing came out just in time to block my bubble attack. Take that, Octo Bibby. Uh, Octo Bibby. I keep saying Octo. This ain't no splat. And thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. That's not what I... Oh, nailed it. We thread those needles. Uh, yeah, thank you for that follow. I, uh, there's a reason why my one emote is a sneezing emote. <laughs> I sneeze like a friggin' uh, I sneeze like a lion. Ugh. And I yawn like one too. Uh, oh, hello. told us about the mutant cocoon because that sounds so much more threatening than mutant overlord its energy reading is unbelievably terrifying well if you can't believe how terrifying it is then it's not that terrifying <laughs> biblically accurate space flush this thing must be collecting energy from the entirety of dimensional space the mutant overlord plan a g every mutant we fought so far do they exist just to send energy here? Well, that I hope not. Otherwise, what are you going to do for the the mutant at the end of the third game? You can't just keep making up new, more powerful things. Okay. 
Droll Revo. Ho, oh, hi. Okay. Okay, I need to switch to. Actually, hold on. Uh, aha! Or not. Oh, this one worked. Where am I going? What what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that doesn't do anything. card is goblin spelled backwards. Okay, if I freeze those things, I can't destroy them. Ah, uh, those things get unpurified after a while. Oh god. Man, what am I doing? Well, that was extremely stupid of me. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. This kind of damn it. That is funny to be like. Oh, a mutant cocoon. It's so much more powerful than a mutant overlord. Just to be like, and the name of the monster was Overlord, but backwards. <laughs> right? Uh, are we going to cutscene every time or no? Good. Yes, we are. Okay. Come on, Inti. You're better than that. Do you have to freeze the bubbles and get out? I don't know. Oh, hi. Doesn't do anything. Everything is that. I don't think that helps anyway. It's gotta be. I. Ah, oh, the double. Stevie, the double jump is so weird. Getting used to that is very difficult after a game of hover mechanics. I keep trying to just hold jump, and it's not working. What? Ow! Why? I don't know what to do! What am I missing? Uh, getting back in the tank makes the time slow not do anything, go away. So, not seemingly. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, the purified water will protect you from the lasers? That's funny. I have a, I have a different idea, though. I don't, I, I don't really feel like the lasers have been that much of a threat, though, I'm gonna be honest. Like, sure, I get caught off guard here and there, but... You know, that just doesn't seem all that bad. But okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I, and I really wish that they would... God! Okay. Okay, nope! That idea didn't work. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, slightly different idea. Although I immediately died because of the god-awful fall damage for uh, uh, being out of the tank. It could have gone the other way. It would have been a much shorter travel. Okay. Warp. I... I hate that so much. I cannot express how much I fucking hate the fall damage for the humans. For being out of tank. It's, it sounds weird to say for the humans, but you know what I mean. I hate it so fucking much. Yeah, that's funny. The lasers do just kind of stop on top of the water like it's normal floor. Okay. Here's the thing, you can destroy the bubbles. But that doesn't really seem to do anything. I still... When I died last time, I didn't even actually do what I was trying to do. I don't... I, I really don't think it's the case, because it's, the game's not, like, creating a setup for it that makes any sense. Man, are you kidding me with this crap? All of a sudden, the game's like, oh shit, he's experimenting. Don't ever put the bubbles anywhere meaningful anymore. Oh, can they? I, I haven't purchased any of the DLCs, so... Wait, where's my tank? Oh, was it just on the ground? So, if I get out of the tank, it just falls through the bubbles? Okay, I definitely... What I've been trying is definitely not the right answer. But I, I don't know what the right answer is. Um... Okay, I got... Okay, different idea. I have another different idea. I'm gonna feel- I just know I'm gonna end up feeling really stupid when we figure out what it is. I just know it. Oh, I didn't even do what I meant to do. I completely forgot. Dashing through the bubbles was not actually what I was meaning to do. <laughs> these things. I wanted to try dashing through these th Okay, nope, they don't. They don't take any extra damage. I say extra damage. They don't take any... What in the stupid? How was I ever supposed to figure that out? Like, normally. Like, at this point, I'm in, uh, what do you call that type of game? A point and click adventure, click everything on everything mode. Like, that's the, like, mindset I'm currently in. And that's just not okay. In my opinion. Like, that's not how you should figure stuff out. Ha! 
say something in the menu? Do the characters ever talk in the menu? The, the cactus girl with the giant tits. I can't get over that fucking character design. That's just... <laughs> yep. Okay. Right here, I can do this. There we go. I gotta remember, I can just tap that button. You can press E by kind of speak with her. What? What? Since the hell when? <laughs> She literally just tells you. Fuck you! Does the... But Fred doesn't get to talk! I, I mean, I'm sure it was there from the start. I'm... I, I'm, I'm yelling about it because, like, God, that's so bullshit. The game never... Did the game ever tell me I could do that? I don't remember the game ever saying you could talk to the character to Eve. I, and I'm out of energy, of course I am. Well, yeah, I know uh, Fred. I know Fred does that. <laughs> I'll, granted, I admittedly I like never really like meaningfully <laughs> used Fred's ability to do that because I suck. I am a scabba fog. The buttons in this game are so unnatural feeling. I can't even with this crap. That should not be two buttons! That should not be- the fucking dash should have been below the- Fuck! That's so unnatural feeling! God, that's so unnatural feeling. I I have like barely ever used tap to switch sub weapon because it's so for starters, most of the game you have too many. You have way too fucking many. I never know which one like where they are in the list. It's that fuck you. Either the list should be constantly like visually apparent so I know what I'm highlighting and where the next thing is, or they should have come up with something else. Fuck! Now's my chance to what? Now's my chance for the rest of the cutscene to play out. Tanks! Crazy anime tanks! Yeah, I only... I noticed that, like, halfway through the game. And I immediately forgot about it. Like, as soon as I took a break, like, after playing that session and came back, didn't remember it existed. So many of this game's systems are just forgettable as fuck. Well, yeah, well, that's holding the button to make the list pop out. That's how I've been doing it all game. Oh, I thought that was going to turn into like a little mini game from that viewpoint. <laughs> Welling up. Oh, it is. Ma sort of. Do I hold the button? Do I press a button? 
I tapped the button. Thank you for making that not clear at all, game! Super amazing! Yeah, you, you totally charge things in video games by mashing, right? Not by holding a button down. It hasn't been holding a button down since fucking Mega Man on the NES or anything. Inti Creates, what the fuck? You guys do, like, your whole thing was wanting to make Mega Man games for like a billion years. Why do you make m games after that and you're fucking up stuff? What the hell? They know better than this. Have I witnessed a miracle? You have witnessed anime. <laughs> I do appreciate that they gave him a different um, face sprite here. Always appreciate. Uh... Like, here's the thing, Shishi. Mashing? 100% more hype. 100%. Like, mashing there makes perfect sense from a, like, a mechanical and an experience standpoint. The problem is, it says charge. It just showed us a static image of a button. There's no, like, pulsing or something on it, right? And how do you charge everything else in the rest of the game? Well, there's only, like, one charge weapon, but you get what I mean, right? Like, it's, it's not intuitive. <laughs> it should have been blinking. It was pulse. I did not see that at all. It was. It should have been like really, like really blinking. It was too subtle or something. Like I was like, it wants me to charge. I'm holding the button and nothing's happening. I'll make it up to you another time. Seems our fight isn't over yet. Oh, for fuck's sake! Because there's always another form, right? Oh, come on! I guess they wanted a form you had to fight in the Sophia. But also, like, giving it a human-looking form? That's kind of lame. Gaia Sophia. That's right, that's right I forgot what the G stood for. The in them X? Dro <laughs> Troll Revo Mastro? What? <laughs> Oh, what in the hell? What am I? Oh my dear god, what the? No, don't touch him! That's all the damage it did? Oh, that is so lame. That's super lame sauce. Oh, well, that's cool. Okay, well, now I know what I'm doing. I was hoping for a cool finish with that big attack. Darn. I, 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 there's a boss early in the... Maybe you can do it to other bosses after you get it, but there was at least one boss where uh, you can just auto-kill it if you let that thing charge all the way up. It's not like I have a problem with mashing. <laughs> the dog. 
dog? Uh, it was, for me, it was the three-headed dragon thingy. Hey, she's all cured. <laughs> regular define regular <laughs> sorry that's a mst3k joke oh okay darn yeah oh well maybe some other time or not because I don't think I'll play the game again <laughs> I've now I've played the first game and the second game the boss I call dog. Okay. So we were talking about the same. I'm feeling better. Yeah, you look like literally totally healed. It's narratively satisfying, Jason. It's so... It's this, that's not something that normally really gets me, but it's so... It, for some reason, these games in particular, the fact that the main character's name is Jason, and that's my name as well, is like, feels really weird. <laughs> What it, what is it with just media refusing to actually have people say I love you? It's always got to be implied. Like just show us them kissing, damn it. What's fuck you? <laughs> Maybe the real blaster master was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> it's not about the blaster master in the tank, it's about the blaster master in your heart. <laughs> Sound effects, bun. Yeah, Ippo Yamada. That is a recognizable name for a reason. <laughs> Yuki Haida, aka Haiden. Ippo, all about that sound. Not just white noise, white noisy. I need to look at... I, I've been told there's a pull-to-win offices around where I live somewhere. I, I should look into that. I do have some QA testing work experience. Maybe I could convince them to hire me. Ah, if only level 8? Level 8? No, 8-4. If only eight four worked around here, oh, I'd love to work for them. Matt Papa. I. So where's Virgil? Where's his ship? Surely he's gonna. Oh, okay. This is more like his background, right? Where is he? 
We got to see him one last time. Because, you know, he, he ended up helping us and everything. Hi. <laughs> Was one of her eyes always green? Was that the case in the first game? Because I'm also seeing the, like, cat, the stylized cat whiskers lines on her cheek under that eye, and her cat powers were green. No. Okay. What is up with the cat motif they randomly gave her? Also, let's be real, I'm amazed that it's her sleeve that's bouncing and not something else. I thank you so much for to playing my game. You're welcome. Uh oh, here he is. Oh. Dun dun. The mutants have attacked. We need your support. The Earth is in danger. We set up for the third game, probably because it was actually simultaneously in development or something. What a truly hilarious situation. <laughs> I'll save his planet before he even knows about it. That'll show him. I hope it drives him crazy. But we'll have to save that for Blaster Master Zero Three. That's all it's in extras is DLC. Ah. Uh, Inti creates seems like maybe they kind of struggle with sequels I felt like I, I, I felt that way about um, uh, Gun Gunvolt as well and it's now it has the offshoot uh, uh, Avenger X games too but it feels like their trilogies tend to like really drop out of people's minds uh in like roundabouts the second game and then the third game it's like it comes out and only the like really dedicated fans seem to really care and even then I feel like I don't see as much like videos and stuff about it as when like the first games came out I do have no I have Illuminous Avenger X2 that I need to play. And I am waiting for my copy of Gun... My physical copy of Gun Vault 3 from Limited Edition Games. Or it showed up. Limited Edition Games. Limited Run Games. Or I'm dumb and it has shown up and I've just forgotten. That's very possible. That's very possible. In fact, I... Thinking about it now, maybe it has shown up and I'm just... I'm just stupid. Uh, <laughs> so at some point we will play more Inti Create sequels. Uh, I will say, given the like context and expectations I had going into this, as opposed to going into when I played Blaster Master Blasting Again for the PlayStation 1. Um, I actually liked that game more than this game. Uh, for all of its PS1 chunkiness. Zero Two, and from what I've seen of Zero Three, they just sort of, they definitely feel less like Blaster Master games, and they just sort of feel like Inti Creates games. Um, and I feel like that may be part of the reason why 
the pop culture surrounding it kind of died off after the first one pretty quickly. But as I was saying earlier, uh, before you showed up, Shishi, um, Blaster Master was always a cult game. It was never like a mainstream popular thing. Um, so it's also likely that that interest would just died off because once there had been one game, people didn't like the novelty bubble had been popped and a lot of people just sort of didn't care again at, for the second, you know, a second time immediately. I didn't even, God, I remember like going, there's a second game. There's a third game. When it came to the Blaster Master Zero stuff, it was, it was very much, Jesus fucking Christ. The art. Uh, yeah. And they're certainly not, I'm not saying that this is a bad game. Not at all. Um, like a lot of Inti Create stuff, it's when you get like deep into Inti Creates things, like especially if they're more like the stuff that's more them than it is uh, whatever the license they might be using is. And you know, maybe you're just playing one of their original games and not a license at all. But um, their games, I can see why like a broad audience would struggle because they're games that are so much better the second time you play them. Um, once you like, cause when you play them the second time, you know, you've got a, a grasp now, uh, of like the fundamentals and like how things kind of flow and everything. And so you can hit that flow state that Inti creates likes their games to have like a lot better and a lot earlier. A lot of the playthrough for this game for me felt, uh, uh, it felt very start and stop and start and stop. I felt like I was, every time I felt like I was kind of getting it, uh, something new would get introduced or whatever. And I, I felt like, okay, now I have to relearn again and I have to keep relearning and I have to keep, kind of keep figuring out how things sort of work together and whatnot, right? And like I said, the game I felt didn't do a particularly great job of really surfacing a lot of things. Um, I like, I never literally didn't realize you could talk to Eve until literally the final boss fight of the entire game, which is a little silly. Maybe she said something. It wouldn't surprise me at all if I play, if I, if, you know, if I, if I started the game again and there was actually some single line of dialogue in there that was like, you know, oh, you can contact me from the menu if you ever want to talk. Did I find out about the elemental charge shot? I'm guessing not, given that that doesn't sound familiar. Uh, yeah, but that's how effectively your game teaches the player, how effectively it can surface information. Um, that's, you know, something to talk about in video game design. And this game did not do that very well. But it was a good game. Um, it was certainly not a bad game at all. Obviously, even like even while I was swearing about at it, I was like laughing, swearing. Right? Uh, I think that was pretty obvious um, because the game was still fun. I, like I really loved when you first land on Planet G, and the boss fight requires you to jump and land on the planet using the system that gives you back energy normally to actually perform an attack, which it hasn't been all game. That was super cool. I, I really really liked that. Um, Stuff like that. But yeah, it definitely... Uh, you're saying uh, you think 3 is better than 2, so... It'll be interesting to see if 3 uh, can improve on the weaknesses in this game. Because if it does, then it'll definitely be, like... You know, a, a, more, a better overall experience. But yeah, as, as already stated, you can tell it's very much... It, they no longer feel like Blaster Master anymore. Like, they... They <laughs> Blaster Master Zero One was like, oh, we tapped into Creates and they made us a new, like a reimagining of Blaster Master. Blaster Master Zero Two feels like Inti Creates went, what if we made our own Blaster Master? And those two things aren't the same thing. There's a, yeah, but there's a difference between, you know intrusive tutorials, which are not fun, and a game failing to explain things to uh, to the player. And like, here's, and the problem is 
you can't say, well, oh, well, I picked up on that all that stuff. Like, okay, but not everybody is necessarily going to. Um, we have to try to look at it from a, a more, you know, objective standpoint. But there are definitely games where the tutorializing in them was very bad and it really annoyed the shit out of me. Um, but there's also problems. With, like, I've, I've been a long, long time player of Monster Hunter. And that franchise was legendary for how badly it explained itself to the player, right? Um, there's definitely a, a happy middle ground, and it's not easy. It's not easy. NT Creates is a good studio, but, like, game development is a per-game thing, you know? It's, there's no, and there's no one perfect way to do anything. So, you know, like I said, it was a good game, but it was definitely a clunky game. Uh, which is funny given how fast paced it is. So, well, you showed up kind of right at the butt end, uh, and we did. Technically, I did figure everything out to win the game by myself. So, <laughs> we, I did figure out to start dashing into the the, the goo blocks I was making. <laughs> That was, I will say, that that at the very final boss fight was the very first time in the game where I ever felt like I couldn't figure out what was going on, like, pretty quickly. Everywhere else, it would be, like, maybe one hiccup, and then, okay, I got it. So, it's not like the game was full of, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go, problems. It was, def it was just, it's just more like, especially given that I am an Inti Creates fan... The game just felt like it had a lot of curbs I was bumping over throughout the the overall playthrough. Okay, anyway. <laughs> That's my review of Blaster Master Zero Two. Not really. I actually don't like to talk too much about stuff immediately after beating it. I like to let a game, uh, like the overall experience of something, sink in for a little bit and talk about it like a few days later. But we did beat it, so... Blaster Master Zero Two.